with that. So now I have a new body in the world, and it's a bouncy one. And it should be frictionless as well. Yeah. Um, what else can we do? Mm, oh, joints, of course. Um, oh, and we can delete things too. Delete that body. Uh, go into fixture mode. Selected just this fixture, delete. So now that fixture is gone. Um, so joints, um, joints also can be deleted. Okay, that joint's gone now. No pendulum, just a box. Um, joints are kind of tricky to set up. Um, So what shall we do? Okay, I just noticed this looks a bit like a car. Uh, looks very much like a car, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, this is going to be a car fixture. Delete. Now we want to body here. Create body. Um, fixture body. Okay, we have a body here, um, and I'm just going to make a wheel for the car because I just remember there's other one other thing I was going to show you was how to use these the files saved by this editor to to load into your program and do something with. Uh, so we have a body here and a body there. This body is going to have to have a circle on it, and we're going to have to we'll give it zero restitution and lots of friction this time. That's too big. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Right. So we have a body. No, that's not what I wanted to do, was it? Not quite. There's a slight difference there. Body. So I haven't I haven't implemented uh, undo reader yet. So <laughs> that's a big one. Uh, restriction zero friction nine create fixture. Okay, fixture scale down. This time I'll select the body to move the body. Okay, that's better. Now I can control paste that over here, so I have uh, two bodies, separate bodies, and I want to do cursor to selection, so that means that this little cursor here is now right in the middle of the wheel. Um, and now we want to make a joint, so we'll select one body and then two bodies to make the joint between, and oh, this is a little bit off the screen here, isn't it? Uh, we want to have a revolute joint still off the screen. Hold on. Ooh, this might not fit. Damn it. Okay, there's a button down here that says create joint, which I'm just clicking. Uh, so now if we go there, we should see we have a joint, revolute joint between this wheel here and there, the car's body. And if we do that again. Revolute, create joint. In joint mode now, we'll see we have two, two joints there. Um, so what I was going to do with this is show, firstly, uh, arr, damn it. I have to resize this again. Hold on a second. Um, okay, so we've got this thing up here which we can do change the name and I'll do control s here that will save this whole scene to a file and we'll just have a quick look at that file we should uh, find it's just been written and oops so this is uh, the contents of the file it's a json json um, file 
So it's sort of, it kind of replaces XML, it's just a little bit more lightweight. Um, and I found the um, API for JSON a lot easier to work with than tiny XML, which is what I used previously, which was still pretty easy to work with. Anyway, so that's, that's the contents of the file. Um, so how do we load that in the program? Uh, Hang on a minute. One, one more thing. I, I this video is going to be a little bit longer than I thought, but one more thing I would like to do is show you how you can name things. Um, so we have a bunch of uh, bodies in here, and I'm going to name. If I select, I'm going to select this body here, and I'm going to give this a name. Pendulum set name. So now when I mouse over, I'll see that this um, this body has been given that name. Pendulum previously was pendulum. So you can name joints, fixtures, and bodies. Uh, and I want to also name this revolute joint here. And I'll call this one rear axle. Set the name. So now when I mouse over here, we should see the name. Uh, for this body there, and Control S again, and now if we look at the JSON contents again, uh, and we search for the axle, so now we'll see that one of these, uh, one of these, um, what's this, this joint, one of the joints in the file has been given this extra parameter here, name. Uh, so we're going we're to use that in the program to to get that joint back and do something with it. So um, what we're going to do here is back in the regular test bed. Oh, okay. So we didn't really need to check that, but I guess you can see here uh, that the joints worked. Car rolls along. Very happy. Now, I made this uh, empty test here for this demo, and I'm going to use this uh, to load in the, the the scene that we just saved, and programmatically access the two uh, objects that we named, so we can do something with them. So, uh, over to. Qt Creator, which is uh, a very, very good programming IDE. If you don't have it, or if you haven't checked it out, definitely look into it. It's great. I can't rave enough about it, so I'll just leave it at that for now. So um, it's pretty empty at the moment. All we have is the constructor, uh, empty keyboard function, um, step function, which uh, just does the superclasses. Uh, function and the creator to make one of these for the test bed. So into here what I'm going to do is uh, pull out some code I prepared earlier and we're going to put this in here like that. So this is all you really need to do to load in the um, the scene that we saved in the editor. And this will give you, obviously, a box 2D world pointer, which you can use to uh, run your game or whatever you're doing. Uh, but for this case, since I'm run, uh, I want to fit this into the test bed so that I can use the mouse joint, like the mouse cursor, to pull pull things around and interact with it normally. Um, and I also want, I just want it to work as a normal test bed test would work. Uh, so there's a little bit more which I'm going to put in here after that. And that is um, if world, so I'm just checking to make, make sure that this loaded, because uh, if it failed it will become, it will be null. Um, and then I'm going to replace the class member, first delete it and then replace it with the one that we just loaded. And then there's a few things that need to be uh, put back. Probably that one's not so important for this demonstration. But we will at least need to set the debug draw so that we can see something. 
and we also would probably like to have uh, the default ground body for the test bed's mouse joint to use otherwise it's going to crash so it's always nice not to crash right um, yeah I think that's it so um, I'll just see if this works eh? right uh, I don't think that compiled <laughs> why didn't it compile hang on a minute uh, change something in there we should get a compile all right there we go so now we are looking at editor demo if I if I run this uh, we can see that we had the, the scene from just before with everything finished um, everything sort of at rest so to speak the car has been made and we can uh, Look at that. They're like twins. <laughs> Very similar. I think mine uh, looks a lot faster though, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah it does. I'm going to say it looks faster. Okay. Um, oops.